It really rose to the occasion, as, as we heard his manager Craig Pollock tell us last night, you know, Jacques has just loved every moment of it, his CD's being launched tomorrow in France, he's looking to driving in NASCAR, I mean, everything is going so well for the French Canadian at the moment, he is a happy Jack. Well, you saw Bill Binney's car coming onto the straight, and let's hope that everybody survives it, it is probably as wet as, 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 as it has been at any stage in this race. You can see there from the wetter. helicopter shot, the water that's running across the uh, camera lens there as it's tracking the cars ever so gently through those curves as they work the way. It is a beautiful view, isn't it? It towards is a, it's still a fantastic curves. looking there it race goes. And look at it splashing through the puddles. It goes around the first of the chicanes. puddles at the apexes as well. Yep. Six minutes, David, is that magic mark for the last lap. Now, will they have timed him for oh. the moment he left at the end? It won't make a lot of difference. There's nobody going to do it in under six minutes. Believe me. Right, so that just gets... Um, uh, it's put, put aside. To. The weather, force majeure again the, the will come into forecast. play as it did after qualifying. Because it's pouring away, and they'll look at it. And if the fastest guy is six minutes or five and a half minutes, it'll be somewhere about there. They will add on what they would normally do. Now, normally it goes from three minutes thirty to six minutes. So that's an extra two and a half minutes. So you add on two and a half minutes to the guy who's fastest across the line. Uh, you're going to be looking at, what, seven and a half, eight minutes or something? That's Kurosawa there, by the way, in the second place car. And uh, there he is, just behind the, uh, the Celine there. Yep, that is the uh, the other car the in Lewis LMP2. Fernandez car. Indeed, and the Baratti Epsilon team will be very pleased, I'm sure, to get that car safely to the finish. Disappointment for Karimo J that they didn't manage to get their other car, the Golf car, to the finish after he lost control of it in the uh, final corner here. Just two hours from the end of the race. We've just been watching the uh, mechanics and uh, some of them are still holding boards out to the uh, guys as they go past. And uh, the Aston guys hung a board out that said, slow. No kidding. <laughs> there is no reason to fall off on the last lap of this race, believe me. Could they All not have held one out that said rain as well, just All in you... case, like fog? All you've got to do is just get yourself around that corner and uh, all of them that is before you end up back at the start and finish you must get around this lap nice and slow don't take any risks don't try breaking late don't try anything at all just potter yourself around nice and quietly and this uh, aston garage i'm going to say will erupt if, when slightly when, nervy if, at the moment when, though isn't it just the way when it crosses the line it's been a long wait, Martin. 1959. Yes, it has. And it has been snatched away from them, they feel, a couple of times already. Surely not this time. They lead from the Corvette of Ron Fellows. It's David Brabham, the Aussie, who will take 009 across the line if he doesn't get edged off by a... By a Borsa. By, by a prototype. No, it's, a, it's, the, it's uh, a Pescarolo. Number 16 uh, Pescarolo. And that was Collard getting into... Uh, finishing order ahead of Brabs. Brabs will finish in fifth place, Manuel Collard in third for that's, Pescarolo. That's Collard, not Barbosa. It, it is the 16 factory Pesca. The 18 car right uh, there with them and uh, well, Audi about to take that win. Werner, Pirro and Biela and uh, well, what, what a story it's been for those guys. They came here last year as the underdogs, didn't they? With everyone expecting Capello, Christensen and McNish to win. And again this year, the, the the, the sensible money would have been on McNish well, Christensen I, again. I have but, to uh, say, the way they drove as well through the night to open up those gaps, every one of, of that trio consistently quicker than any other car could manage through the night. I mean, it was just a remarkable drive. And then to have it taken away from them, I mean, they had really earned their three and a half, four lap advantage. To have it taken away by that wheel falling yeah. off. And just to remind so you. Bitter. Just to remind you, Bieler and Pirro winning this race in 2000, 2001, 2002 and 2006 and joined for that 2006 win by Marco Werner. So four times winners are going to become five times winners here this afternoon. Well, now that is as strong a partnership as Derek Bell and Jackie X put together with five wins as a pairing. And that's one of the that is going to put them into one of the great Le Mans winning pairings. And Bieler, Bieler, Bieler and Pirro have been together for so long, a minute and 45 seconds remaining, the marshals already out there waving their flags, and it is undoubtedly going to be the final lap. Emmanuel is going to win Le Mans for the fifth time.
white flag lap is being shown and there is Marco Werner but remember every one of these cars has to make it to the line in running order so there is still no time for celebration and I can't believe that what I'm seeing that can't be true no that can't be true Bordeaux has stopped the Peugeot has stopped on the last lap one minute of the race remains Well, David, it was in the pits for a long time, wasn't it? Is this a repeat of... The I'm just wondering whether it stopped and they have a problem. They look shocked. They are absolutely they are don't know what's happening. Now, if he was stopped waiting for the uh, Audi to come past, then to set off behind it, I can understand it. Th that's not the look on their face in that garage. In that garage, it is total astonishment that the car is not moving. 30 seconds still on the clock, and the Peugeot entire Peugeot company stop absolutely in the middle of what they're doing what on earth is going on well, Manuel Ipiro doesn't know what to think nobody knows what to now, think there's he... only one person that knows what's going on in David that it doesn't matter how far he's gone in the race if he doesn't take the checkered flag he is not classified and that would put Pescarello second and Pescarello third and the third place Pescarello Martin, Martin Short's Short. roll centre team. And yeah. David, he's, he's waiting stopped. for the he's Audi. What I said was, he's waiting yes. for this car here to come across. Ooh. Now they breathe a sigh of relief like we do, because they can tell where it was. Uh, I'm sure that uh, they've been on the uh, radio, or somebody's been on the radio to Bo uh, Bode, and I'm sure that the ACO will be thinking, look, it is just so dangerous out there. The rule that they had of, you know, you must do it within so many minutes. Don't worry about it. If you can get your car round at all, thank you very much. We'll have that for a finish. Were the positions reversed and it was an Audi waiting there for three minutes for the Peugeot to arrive, I wonder whether they consider it quite in the same light. But it is clear, surely, that Bordet must be able now, to move David, that car. David, he's, he's been stationary for a minute now, another minute at least, before uh, uh, Marco Werner gets him. What about the risk of overheating? Uh, with this amount of rain coming down, I don't think it'd be no. a big problem. But, um, you know, it's like all these guys in the pit wall. If all, come, all the mechanics and everybody come running out of the garages onto the pit wall, everybody getting soaked on the inside, waiting for this car, the uh, number one Audi with Marco Werner on board, to arrive. And he is going slowly. The last thing you want to do is touch a puddle, touch anything at all. It's going to give you a bit of a flutter with your heart. Not and, a chance. Um, There's the bump in the Porsche curves. That is the bump that has caught all the cars out this weekend. They resurfaced it, but there is still a bump. It's earlier. That's why the cars are going off earlier when they have their accident. And he's gone really slowly because he came out in the back of the pack. And rather than work his way through the pack, he's just banked off and let them go. Because we're watching the pack come past us just now, and they're going to have to do another whole lap as he's coming around to the very end of the lap, out of the Porsche curves towards the Fort Chicane. It's 3 p.m. Central European time. The 75th anniversary of the Le Mans 24 hours is about to end in wet weather conditions after 22 hours of close, hard, dry racing. It's going to be another victory for Audi, for the team that won last year, for Marco Werner, Emanuele Piro and Frank Bieler. Just a few more hundred metres remain. Get your hands back on the wheel, Marco Werner. Applauding the marshals there. He almost lost control of the car in the standing water. And he passes the Peugeot. Does the Peugeot roll? Yes, it yes. does. A big oh. sigh of relief from Frederick Sainshaw all he, the way down to the humblest mechanic. He didn't want to do another lap, David. That's what it he was. He did not want to do another lap. So it's Audi that wins 2007 Le Mans 24 hours. <laughs> it's a photo finish on the grass for everybody else. Sebastian Bordet brings the Peugeot across the line in second place. And look at the delight at Audi. Look, too, at the jubilation at Peugeot. Most figured they wouldn't last two hours, maybe not four hours. 24 in second place, not a chance. Diana's down on the pit wall. Thank you, Emanuele. Many congratulations. What does this mean, mean to you? Uh, it's a great moment. There was a lot of pressure, especially after the two cars uh, retired, and uh, a lot more pressure than the other years because, you know, 
there was no other Audi to back us up in case we had a problem. So it's been an eventful race and I'm really happy we made it. Despite the competition, you know, it's been great. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank well, you. Manueli Piro wins again. Five wins together with Frank Bieler. And that equals the record of Derek Bell and Jackie X as a pairing. And Sebastian Bourdais, well, I think saluting the team there for a, a fantastic job well done. And jubilation too. That's... Uh, the Audi team and the Peugeot team, both, I think, it would be hard to tell who is most delighted with their weekend here. We'll be back for...